Now, uh, the the subject uh, which uh, uh, I thought would be appropriate at this time uh, uh, is building a Bharat narrative, uh, because in many ways that is exactly what is happening in India. Now, what does it mean building a Bharat narrative? Uh, people sometimes see it as politics. Sometimes they look at the word play uh, and think that this is some kind of linguistic message. But if you look at really the term Bharat, and I'm not getting into uh, the origins of the word or the history uh, of the concept, it today actually has multiple symbolisms in, in different domains. Economically, I would say, or economics-wise, we would speak about a Atma Nirbhar Bharat. So it has a connotation of a certain uh, resilience, a certain self-sufficiency, uh, a contribution, uh, uh, a talent out there, uh, which is which is expressing itself. Developmentally today. Uh, when we speak about Bharat, it also uh, implies uh, a commitment uh, about creating an inclusive, just, fair society uh, where no one is left behind. And that is actually, in many ways, uh, the true test of development. Politically, Bharat is a statement of independence. Uh, it is a declaration uh, that uh, as India engages the world, uh, it doesn't have to be uh, uh, done necessarily in terms set by others or in frameworks determined by others, that our objective in that engagement is in many ways to uh, actually let our own personality uh, and our own uh, uh, I would say uh, innate qualities uh, come out. Uh, so it is uh, in in uh, ways I would say uh, an expression of the persona of a society. And then there is of course the cultural domain. When we speak about Bharat, it could we could be speaking about our languages, our traditions, our heritage, our practices. And when it comes to the world. Uh, really, uh, the the uh, the Bharat that we seek uh, to set the narrative about is a Bharat which would like to be perceived uh, as a Vishwamitra, uh, as a friend, uh, which at crucial moments has really stepped up, uh, stepped up in a way in which countries and societies normally don't do in international relations. 